Hello friends, I am Tulsar Nakal. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about the difference between SRAM and DRAM. Static random access memory. Static random access memory. And dynamic random access memory difference between SRAM and DRAM the first difference is SRAM stores data or programs as long as power supply is on state until and unless the power supply is on it stores data but it loses its stored information in very short time even though power supply is on state both ram are volatile in nature but dram stores short period of time it stores data for a short period of time even though the power supply is on state but it stores data or instruction as long as power supply is on state the di second difference is it is made up of a transistor and flip flop and it is made up of a capacitor and few transistor it is made up of transistor and flip flop and it is made up of capacitor DRAM is made up of capacitor and few transistor and for a single block of memory six transistor are used for a single block of memory six transistors are used in SRAM but for a single block of memory only one transistor is used in DRAM SRAM has no charge leakage property so does not need to be power refresh and DRAM has charge leakage property so it needs to be refreshed after each read operation so SRAM does not need refreshing circuit but DRAM needs refreshing circuit. Refreshing circuit is not implemented means that it is not necessary to refresh SRAM but DRAM needs refreshing circuit so refreshing circuit is implemented in DRAM. Next SRAM utilizes less power DRAM utilizes more power SRAM is more expensive than DRAM and DRAM is cheaper than SRAM SRAM is faster than DRAM and it is slower than SRAM because SRAM cache memory is the example of SRAM cache memory is faster than RAM so it is faster than DRAM it is slower than SRAM it has low density, SRAM has low density, but DRAM has high density. SRAM is available in smaller storage capacity of few MB, but DRAM is usually available in large storage capacity of few GB. We can get a RAM of 8 GB, 1 GB, 2 GB, 4 GB, 8 GB. So, it stores data in the form of voltage. SRAM stores data in the form of voltage, but DRAM stores data in the form of charge. The example of SRAM is cache memory, and the example of DRAM is DDR, DDR2, DDR3, etc. So, this is the difference between SRAM and DRAM, static RAM as well as the dynamic RAM. SRAM and DRAM. If you have not subscribed my channel, please do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching the video.